Hello and welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. Since I've recently uploaded a Lightroom color grading tutorial, I decided to do the same with Photoshop. So in this video we are going to turn this boring dark image into this one. You see, we are going to add a lot of warm color tones, mostly using the camera raw editor, but also a bit of Photoshop with the Nick Collection plugin. If you want to follow along, you can find the raw file in the description of the video and now let's begin. First off, we need to adjust the exposure and stuff and that's done by doing some raw adjustments. First off, I'd like to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard, which will already brighten up the darkest parts a little bit, so that will help. Now let's head into the basic stuff. For the warm sunset look, I can simply use the white balance temperature slider and pump it up a little bit. I'm going to raise it quite a bit since I want this image to be very very warm. Also I am going to add a little bit of tint which always helps with those sunset tones. Next up, before we continue with the color grading, we do want to fix the exposure. Right now looking at this program you can see there's a lot of underexposure going on and we can't really see much in the foreground. So I want to change that by simply bringing up the exposure. Let's raise it quite a bit. Maybe like that. Also I want to raise the shadows for more details in those dark areas, but I really don't want to go too high here. I think that looks pretty good. Finally we could also play around with the blacks, bringing them up very very slightly. Let's see where the underexposure is happening by holding down the Alt key. It's not really that visible, so I think at this point the blacks look quite good. Okay, then I also want this image to look sharp. So I'm going to introduce some texture and maybe even some clarity, just a little bit. Since right now the image is lacking some colors, I am going to introduce some vibrance. And here we are done with the base adjustments. We can compare to before real quick and you can see we do have a much different image now with a lot more details, especially in the shadows. Of course, the upper part is way, way, way too bright right now, but we can fix that using a little bit of masking. So let's do that. First off, I do want to work on the sky. Therefore, let me create a linear gradient and just drag it down like that, covering most of the top part of the image. Now with this linear gradient, I simply want to bring down the exposure I'm not going to drop it too much. I much rather stack multiple linear gradients for a different effect. I think that looks pretty good. Now I want to create another linear gradient just for the top part without the water surface. We might need to zoom in to adjust that one. Of course I want to get the edge right, but that looks good. So with this setup, I am going to continue dropping the exposure and thus just revealing more details from the sky. You can see we now have all the clouds up there again. Now the top part of the water surface looks way too bright compared to the sky. So we need to fix that as well. Again, just use a linear gradient and I'm trying to target all the bright parts up here. Of course, you don't want to affect the sky this time since we just want to darken the top part of the surface of the water surface. So we're going to say subtract, and just grab a linear gradient and subtract the top part. Again, we might need to zoom in and just fix that edge right here. That's looking good. Once that is done, again, let's bring down the exposure. So we get a natural looking fade. Perfect. So at this point, I do want to add some kind of special effect. Therefore, I'm using a radial gradient. Nice, big like that. Rotate it a bit and place it over the edge of the image like this. And in here, I'm going to push the blacks all the way up. And I'm also going to drop the dehaze. And thus, I'm just adding a very cool glow effect. All right, perfect. Then I want to use another radial gradient for the foreground, just for that tree branch like this. And here I'm going to further bring up the texture. 
and I'm also going to introduce some whites making this area a little brighter just like that and that is it for the local adjustments now at this point I've noticed the highlights might be a little too weak for the scene so I want to go back into the basic tab and just raise them slightly I do want to have a rather natural look on the exposure side here so I think that's much better and once this is done we can finally head into the color grading stuff first off in the color mixer I'm going to adjust the saturation here I do want to bring up the blue tones just like that and now let's head into the split toning stuff which will really change this image so we are aiming for a warm sunset look this means I'm going to use the highlights and apply some very warm hue first let's go further into the yellow range just like that and in here I'm going to pump up the saturation almost all the way you can see that's dramatically changing the image sadly this won't work on every shot only in certain situations like this but you can see it's looking very very good now for the midtones depending on the scene I want to apply a warm or cold color tone on the midtones in this case I'm actually aiming for a colder color and let's bring up the saturation just like that so we are getting a nice mix of warm and cold color tones finally for the shadows again I'm using a cold color tone somewhere around here but with a very very low saturation so the shadows aren't looking too unnatural perfect that's it for the split toning if I deactivate it you can see the difference which is huge so finally let's head into the calibration tab here I do want to bring down the blue primary hue as I do most of the times for sunset images and then let's raise the saturation all right perfect now that's almost it for the raw adjustments just one more thing I want to do and that's the sharpening so let's drop the radius increase the details add some masking and increase the amount of sharpening all right all done now it's time to edit this shot in Photoshop. So let's say open object. First off, there are a few sensor spots, so let's clean them up real quick. All right, looks much cleaner. Next, let's work on the color some more. I want to start with an adjustment layer. So let's head into that menu down here and I'm going to use a photo filter adjustment layer. This will immediately warmen up the image as you can see this will also reduce the blue color tones but in the end I think it looks better this way next up there comes another effect that's similar to the split toning so let's head into the adjustment layer menu one more time and this time choose a gradient map this might look strange at first but we are going to change the blending mode to overlay and we're going also and we're also going to drop the opacity to something low like 20% maybe still the colors are not looking good so we want to change that by adjusting the gradient up here so just click on that and you can think of it like split toning on the left side we have the shadows and on the right side we have the highlights so if I want to adjust the shadows I'm clicking on this pin right there and I do want the shadows to have a blue color tint so I'm going in the blue range with a rather dark blue tone just like that and hit OK. Now for the highlights, the orange tone is quite nice already. We could maybe adjust it some more, giving it some less saturation by pulling that point to the left. OK, and we could even create a point for the midtones by just clicking in here. And for the midtones, I do want to have something more in the red color range like that so that looks pretty good at this point I do want to use the Nicolex plugin so first let me merge all those layers and now let's head into filter Nicolection color effects pro 4 here I already have set up this effect which is the brilliant warmth effect with increased warmth and increased saturation so if I turn it off you can see the difference it just works great for those sunset shots so let's hit OK 
So the top part does look really really good, but the foreground is way too saturated. So we want to apply a layer mask here and use a black brush to just brush away the saturation, especially from those spots that get hit by the sunlight. But that's looking way more natural. Finally, we could maybe dodge the image a little bit. So I'm going to use a new layer and I do want to target the highlights. So I want to try something else. Usually I'm going with the TK panel plugin to select the highlights. In this case, I'm pressing Ctrl, Alt and the two key, which will select the brightest parts of the image as you can see. So with that selection, I'm going to hit the layer mask icon and you can see when I'm clicking on the layer mask, which parts actually are selected here. This is looking pretty good. So we're going, we are going to switch the layer from normal to overlay once more, since we want to dodge things and set the brush color to white and grab the brush, lower the brush opacity. And now just paint in some more brightness on the foreground, just like that. All right, that should be enough. So that's it for editing this image. I hope this tutorial was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions left, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.